Hello guys once again welcome back to another Android app development tutorial. Today's episode we are going to learn about how to listen for preferences change in your app settings page. So here I already create an Android Studio project that contain a settings page. I will show you the settings page available in this project. Open the settings page. So here the settings page contains some preferences. Here we have two list preferences text message limit and multimedia message limit. I open the text message limit. I change the value into 150 messages per conversation. And here you can see that particular change is not reflected in the summary of this preference. The same case in the case of a in the case of the second list preference also. So this is one example why we need to listen for the preference change. So when user makes some changes on preferences, we have to update the summary. So here I am going to show you how to listen for the preference change and how to change the summary of a preference when user makes some changes. So in this project, we have only one preference screen. This is the preference screen. Okay, so here I use a preference activity preference fragment for display this settings page. Here is the preference fragment. So here we need to listen into these two list preferences. First I copy the key for these two list preferences. I put it here. We need that one later. Okay, so first here I'm going to create some variables. Final string preference SMS limit. And use this value. Now I create another wait another variable called a preference MMS. Here it is MMS. Okay. So in order to get the <coughs> preference change you have to implement an interface called on shared preference change listener. So first here I am going to create some variables for that particular interface on shared preference change listener and it I name it as preference change listener okay so you must implement this interface in your preference fragment or preference activity so in my case here I use the preference fragment so if you are working on a preference activity you have to implement this interface in your preference activity okay so now we can Initialize that listener interface. So here is preference change listener. So here you need to override only one method called uh, on shared preference change. Here this method has only two parameters, a shared preferences object and a key. So when user makes some changes of any any preferences, uh, the system will call this method. So you can identify the preference by using the key okay so now we need to register for this listener so you have to register for this listener from the on resume method of your fragment or activity also you have to unregister from this listener from the on post method of your activity or fragment so first here I'm going to register for this listener from the on resume method of this fragment Okay, so get shared, get preference screen dot, uh, get shared preferences, and you have to call this method called uh, register on shared preference change listener and pass your handler. Okay, so now we need to unregister from this listener from the on post method of the activity or fragment. Here also the same thing get preference screen 
get shared preferences and register on shared preference change listener and pass your handler okay so now we can handle the situation so when user make changes on the list preferences first we have to identify the listener preference so if key uh, dot equals reference sms limit that means user change the sms limit from the preference screen in that case we need to modify we, we need to update the summary of that particular preference first we have to get the preference and it has sms preference so here you can use this method called uh, find preference and pass the key okay so now we can update the summary of the preference dot we can call this method called the set to summary so first here i'm going to get the value of the particular preference so you can get the value from the shared preferences object so shared preferences code get string specify the value specify the key for it now specify the default value messages per conversation okay so this is in the case of sms now we need to handle the case of mms here it is mms limit here also this is mms okay okay so here we successfully implement the listener for the preference change now we can test the project so i run the project okay go to the settings page first i'm going to update the value for the text message limit here update the value into 300 messages per conversation and here you can see that change is now reflected in the summary of that preference now go to the multimedia messages here i change the value into 150 messages here also you can see now that particular summary is updated now i go back to another activity again i came to the settings page now here you can see now the summary is reset into the value available on the preference xml file so here on the preference xml file we set some summary here it is so this summary will override the value available on the shared preferences so now we need to find a solution for this also so the solution is you have to set the preference summary from the on resume method of the fragment or activity so now from the on resume method here i am going to get the preferences so preference sms preference uh, find preference here it is preference sms limit now set the summary for the preference set summary uh, get preference screen get shared preferences get string pass the key for it now specify the default value messages per conversation okay so here we update the summary for the sms now we need to do the same thing for sms mms also so here i modify that one into mms here it is mms okay so now the project is ready so first i'm going to remove that application from this device so i run the project again
okay now I go to the settings page so now the text message limit I modify that one is 150 the changes now reflected on the summary now I change the multimedia message limit into 300 here also the change is reflected on the summary now I remove this application now again I open that application now we can check the settings and here now we retain the summary for the text message limit and multimedia message limit so this is how we listen for preferences change in your app settings page i hope you understand the concept for getting more android tutorial updates please subscribe this channel now if you have any suggestion or doubt please specify that one in the comment section below thank you for watching see you in the next episode